Hello, my name is Allison, and I'm here to help introduce the latest updates to NIME Snowflake integration. With me today are Tobias of NIME and Christina of Snowflake. Thank you both so much for being here. And now over to you. Thank you, Allison. Hi. So with the NIME Analytics platform, what you could do so far is visually assemble and analyze your data within Snowflake by using all of its processing power. But with the new release, you can now even push down model prediction into your database in order to do advanced analytics there where the data resides. Okay, I'm going to admit to it. I don't know a whole lot about Snowflake. Christina, would you mind giving us a brief introduction? Not at all. Um, Snowflake's platform is a unified architecture that allows you to integrate data from a wide range of data sources and types. We can deal with structured, semi-structured, and unstructured data, and then use that to power use cases across data engineering, data lakes, data science, data warehouses, data applications, and data sharing. The platform itself is made up of three unique layers. And first, you've got the Elastic Performance Engine. That engine is built for speed and can support multiple workload types without resource contention or performance degradation. Secondly, we have our intelligent infrastructure. Snowflake is a fully managed service. We deal with encryption, partitioning, maintenance, upgrades, high availability, all of that stuff. You carry on doing something with your data and not dealing with infrastructure at all. Lastly, SnowGrid, is, that's the layer that connects your business to what matters in new ways. Through SnowGrid, you can share and collaborate easily with a single live copy of the data. No more ETL windows or data silos holding your business back. And this sharing and collaboration is backed by robust cross-cloud governance controls and policies that follow the data, not the cloud. Tobias, tell us how you are taking advantage of all the power of Snowflake to make NIME run more efficiently today. Happy to do that. Thank you, Christina. So let's jump right into the workflow that we have prepared here. Um, so with this workflow, we connect first to the Snowflake um, cloud data warehouse. And then the first thing that we want to do is we want to select the data for which we want to learn a churn prediction model. So here we select a table with historical information about customers that have left the company or are still loyal customers here. Um, once we have that table selected, we can then do some sampling on it and filtering. Um, all of this is done within the Snowflake platform using its, um, yeah, its processing power. And once we are happy with the data, we can read that into NIME. And once it's in NIME, we can use the H2O machine learning library that we have integrated in order to learn a machine learning model. In this case, we use the random forest here. And once that model is learned on the uh, churn information, we can now use the new node, the Snowflake H2O Mojo predictor, in order to push down that model into the Snowflake database, creating a database function and using it directly where the data resides within Snowflake. So when okay, I'm so you've done like all the data engineering, all the cleansing, all the model trainings happened in NIME. Once you're happy with that, then you deploy it directly into Snowflake Compute so that it runs where the data lives and takes advantage of the Snowflake Compute infrastructure to power that model. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly, Christina. So as long Excellent. as you have these uh, square red ports, the data stays within Snowflake and NIME only has a pointer to the data that it uses in order to tell the next node where the data lies and what it needs to do with that one. So here it's the same. So we have still the square port. So the data is still in Snowflake, but NIME basically creates a function that depends the information about the prediction to the incoming data. Um, and then what we can do now, we can filter that so that we only have the churn prediction information in here, read the data back into NIME, and then we can use the uh, score node in order to evaluate the model here. And now you can see that we have an accuracy of 94%, which is pretty good. So we are happy with the model. And now we can use that node in order to store that model, in order to use that in a prediction workflow that you usually would deploy then on the NIME server in order to have that run automatically at certain time intervals. <clears throat> so in the prediction workflow is pretty straightforward. So we first connect again to Snowflake. We select another table this time. This time we select the table with all of our customer data where we don't know if they will leave the company or not. Um, and this one contains in this case roughly 2.5 or 2.6 million rows. We read in the model that we have read out or learned before 
uh, written out and now we read it in. And now we use the same node as before, but apply it to another uh, database table in order to do the prediction. So while the model is executing and deployed into Snowflake, we can also have a look in the Snowflake interface. So this one is the new Snowflake interface that allows you to look into your database. It's called SnowSide. And here we basically look at the database <clears throat> that we use here for the demo. So it's called demo and public is a schema. And as you can see, there is no table yet in the database. So if we go now back to the nine workflow, so the model is deployed now, we can execute the last node. And the last node basically takes the model um, and the prediction of the model and stores this into a, nine, uh, into a new Snowflake table. So as you can see, again, we have all the square ports here. So there is no NIME data table port here. All is pointer to the data in Snowflake. Um, and now the node so is executed. So behind the scenes, all the code is happening in Snowflake to create the tables and store the data and do the compression. And all we have to watch are the little dots go across the screen. Exactly, and getting green. <laughs> okay, so let's move <laughs> to Snowside. Um, now, when I refresh the screen, you can see, so there's the new table, so prediction result. <laughs> and now we have 2.6 million rows predicted, which is now in the compressed format of Snowflake, which is roughly 60 megabyte. And we can even go to this activity uh, tab here in order to see how long the query did take. Okay, so here we go. So that's the create table. A statement that the last node automatically generated with the prediction result. And this uh, took roughly eight seconds to process these 2.8 million rows within um, Snowflake in order to do the prediction. Um, yeah, ah, so we the get the terms. best of both worlds, all the, the um, compute power of Snowflake where we do our thing well with data processing and then you guys have this wonderful drag and drop interface that makes the machine learning um, and prediction model building bit easy and efficient and together it's a powerhouse. Yep, exactly. So with, with, with NIME Analytics Platform, basically it allows you to visually manipulate and query your data within Snowflake and thus benefiting from all its vast processing power there without the need to write any SQL code there. Um, and with this release, we went even further. So we extended this functionality to also push down your machine learning models to do advanced analytics directly where the data resides within Snowflake um, using its vast processing power and combining this with the visual workflow building of the NIME Analytics platform. Amazing. So it's not only that it's faster because it's acting where the data lives, but it's also safer because that data doesn't have to go, go outside of the snow protected Snowflake network. Yep. Um, pretty slick, guys. Yeah, that was amazing. Thank you both so much for that overview. It was really wonderful. And now, if you'd like to know anything more about NIME Snowflake integration or how to get a free trial of Snowflake, please check out the links in the description of this video. And if you'd like to find out anything more about the latest features in NIME software release, please check out the other videos on this page. Happy workflow building.